go out there and play. We can't play, you know, to our name. Like we're just gonna win off our name. We gotta go out there and play the game like our last. Did you think at the end of the last season that that was where, you know, when you finished up in the final four, that that's where you are, you belong, your team belongs, right? You know, that's, uh, you know, preseason is preseason. You really don't know because you know it's a whole new year. We have a lot of new guys. You know, with Kevin and uh, Wayne come up an injury and Luke Hancock's, you know, being able to play this year. So, you know, we have a lot, you know, different guys with Kyle being gone and Chris and Swap being gone. We played play major factors with us last year. So we have a new team. We have, uh, you know, people who they return who know the expectations of this team. So, you know, we look forward to this year. We look forward to uh, go out there and play hard. Big East player, a preseason player of the year. Is there a certain amount of pressure coming with that, or how do you? Look? I don't think so because I mean it's just preseason. It's just one. You know, it was the coach's opinion. I was very honored to have it, but uh, you know, you definitely got to prove it during the season. Uh, I don't think a, a preseason player has won the preseason. I mean, Big East player of the year in like eight years. So we'll see. But you're not. It doesn't uh, impact you to kind of live up to that. No, I, I, billing or not at all. I'm just going to go out there and play my game and uh, you know, do what Coach wants me to do. Did, did, you think, did you think about leaving this summer? Or what, what was that process? Uh, you, know, you know, I thought about it across, across my mind. We just came off a great year and great Final Four run. And, uh, but I thought it was best for me to come back. And, you know, we had a great team coming back. And, uh, you know, I'm so close to graduating school. Why not finish it out and uh, you know, have another year of playing with my teammates? And, no, you don't want to grow up. Adult life sucks. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any bills. I don't have any bills to pay. I, just, you know, I eat free food at the dorm, and uh, you know, I'm just living life right now. <laughs> you could just learn that, all right? Yeah. Just, just some personal things. You, your, your tattoos obviously have some some personal messages. Can you just talk a little bit about when you started getting these and what they mean to you? Uh, I got my first tat when I was uh, in high school, and. Uh, you know, it was just kind of built from there. I got my brother and sister's name, my mom's name. Um, my, one of my favorite Bible scriptures, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Uh, faith, uh, you know, my mom's name right here. Uh, you know, my city where I'm from, Seattle. There's uh, a lot of tattoos that have meaning for me, so. But in, in the faith, I, I didn't realize it's still looking in the media guy, but the, the number itself has something to do with your faith, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, number three is Trinity. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And, uh, you know, it just... No, no, I wouldn't mean nowhere without God. I'm just thankful for every moment of it. Has that always been with you? I mean, that was, was that instilled your family uh, values or what? No, I, I really didn't uh, really get into church until I was in high school and really uh, really started focusing on my faith like until high school and uh, it just really stuck with me. What brought it on? Why did you? I started going to church and um, you know I really didn't like church and I went to went to a couple Bible studies and I uh, really enjoyed Bible study and the person who led and uh, you know I still keep in contact with him and. Uh, you know, it's just really something that hit me and, um, you know, just better my life. This is in high school? Yeah. The loss is kind of, did that last loss kind of stick with you a little bit longer this summer than, than some losses? Uh, it sticks with you because, you know, you were so close to, you know, getting to the championship and, you know, you, you were one game away. But, um, you know, it's that bittersweet feeling. You made it to the Final Four, but you lost and you were so close to attaining it. So, you know, it stuck with you, but, you know, we knew we had a – you know, forget about it and get right back in the gym. So is there a sense of accomplishment or is it more of like an unfinished business sort of thing? Uh, I feel like it's more unfinished business. You know, we were so close, we tasted it, and uh, now we just want to go back for more. And, you know, everybody, you know, really just got to stay humble and just stay ready for it, and I think we'll do all right. What what prevents you from getting to that goal? And, and uh, I think it's, you know, one, injuries, but I think a main thing would just be everybody's ego. If everybody just continues to stay level-headed and continue to stay within the game plan, I think uh, we'll do just fine. What did you work on, Peyton?